Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. So, uh, last three games, Crossbands Cup 2023. And uh, as mentioned before, a couple of challengers are taking on some main decks. Well, you know, some decks from the Crossbands Cup from past year. Uh, first of all, we have the winner. So, Dragon Rulers 2013, rank 7 dot deck. Um, I'm excited for this one because it's going to take on rank 7 dot deck from, what was it, last year, 2023. Both deck lists here. Um, left side was Worlds, you know, Light and Darkness Dragon build from Worlds back in 2013. While right side, I think this was or is or was Pauli Anderson's list. Um, again, YCS winning profile. So rank 7 back in 2013 versus rank 7 back in 2023. So 10 years a difference. Intriguing. So both decks have their, you know, shenanigans, the advantage of rulers, they have unfair stuff like Super Rejuvenation, the rulers themselves, Maxi is there, you know, which definitely could help against the more recent deck here in this case being Kashtjerva. So if I could, you know, like bet uh, my money on which deck should win this one in theory, it should definitely be Kashtjerva for the most obvious reasons, but we'll see. So rulers go first and having the advantage of opening with six, card def well, six cards definitely helps again, you know, rulers being that two card combo deck um, discard baby, discard bigger dragon, and you know, go from there. Um, and that, that definitely hurts nowadays if you, you know, you would play rulers on, let's say, um, you know, Master Duel, for example. So here I get obliterated. I get destroyed in the first duel, and I was like, hmm, that doesn't look really true. <laughs> this is not promising. This isn't promising. So, okay, let's see. Game number two, both side deck, and trolls are going in, and um, it could create some awkward situations, you'll see in a couple of moments. So I go full, what is it, discard. Um, I'm not able to, you know, tribute away my dragon rulers for, you know, another tribute monster. So this is sh this, sh this should be draw 4, yeah. But look at this, like draw 4, draw 4 and draw the last rejuvenation as well. So this is okay, because this, um, you know, kind of fills up your graveyard with your dragons. Plus, it gives you more opportunities to draw into hand traps. And I'm looking at Maxi. Ash and Veiler to some extent. Uh, basically, Dracosec here uh, is to protect my board, not getting OT gates. And Droll and Maxi don't work together. Um, and I think Droll was a bit more important. Otherwise, you know, old school Kashtjera, full power, can just go for game, push for game, maybe even through Dracosec and two tokens. Depends, right? So I, I eventually went for uh, Droll, right? Keeping Maxi for later, for next turn, probably. This board is definitely outable. Uh, the thing is, is that I need to force out the um, Kaleido first, right? Mm, which indeed banishes the uh, uh, big eye. But again, I have follow up place. Zeus is still there. Um, even uh, Rise Heart, yeah, Rise Heart. Rise Heart hurts a lot, even though uh, you know it banishes my stuff. It hurts a lot. It gets rid of my resources. So I, <laughs> this actually comes in, in, in clutch. The Red Dragon Archfiend, it you know, threatened both defense position monsters on my opponent's side of the field. And ooh, it was so tempting reborning the uh, Rise Heart, a Rise Heart here from my opponent, you know, and whenever a card is sent to the graveyard, reattach my rulers, etc. But I think in the long run, going for a big guy and get that big boy Zeus was better, again, because of the. Um, Whatchamacallit, Eradicator. I mean, I could Eradicator a uh, Rise Heart, but again, uh, kind of mediocre since the 3k beat stick is always there, sitting there, the Zeus on their board. So I eventually went for Big Eye before. Plus, we're getting free information, and as expected, as it does now, uh, uh, did in the previous format, like <laughs> Eradicator, Benworthy now, Benworthy back then. And uh, Ruler says this one. So, with some help of uh, Eradicator, it is what it is. Problem now is going second, and um, yeah, Tsukuyomi is there. Tsukuyomi is basically the Book of Eclipse back in 2013. It almost has the same purpose, at least in this particular matchup, to put the, you know, Arise Heart or um, the Shangri-La face down, right? So let's see, this is, again, uh, I needed that Maxi re to resolve. Um, okay, Kashtura does not have access to Maxi. But again, they have the more recent card pool, the much better extra deck. So, I mean, every card that could give rulers an advantage, I think is uh, definitely welcome for the deck. So this is basically full combo, no? Diablos is there because, again, this is Kashiwa oh, pretty much at full power. Um, Shangri-La hitting those monster zones, I think. So that's already three monster zones gone. Uh, I do have an out being Tsuko, but I'm, you know, this, this is kind of like a dilemma. Like, what card am I going to put face down? I should probably put face down the Shangri-La. Problem is the um, Arise Heart, you know, is an interruption, and my hand is kind of weak. 
Um, so again, this feels super awkward, and I think I'm screwed either way. <laughs> you see, I mean, okay, getting those two draws. Oh, and that's also a big difference, is the Ash Blossom. Ash wasn't released back in 2013, and it's a big card, a super big card against rulers. I mean, we see that on Master Duel, where, what is it, all rulers are unlimited, the babies as well, but something like Ash just you know, takes a huge dump on the deck. So this doesn't really matter too much, because Tsuko is going to get bounced back in the end phase, the Redox is getting banished by the Arise Heart. Um, I do draw two and draw Electric Fires, but Fires doesn't really... Um, it, it's okay-ish. Um, unless um, Big Boy Macro Cosmos on lag with attack... Uh, on lags with attack, um, it's not a fair card. And, you know, the Electric Fires needs to be discarded to the graveyard. So, I mean, there are situations where it could come... It could come up. It's better than everything else I had in the side deck. So again, go first. And this is definitely an okay opening. I already have Maxi, so I need that you know, to be resolved. Again, a couple of options. And I do opt to go for, again, the Draco Sack. Protecting my life points should be enough in most situations, especially paired up if Maxi goes through. Plus Super Rejuvenation draws six, because, you know, I tributed those two dra uh, dragons on field. Again, faced with basically the same dilemma, and I opt again to go for Droll. Again, not giving them the searches, you know, off of Unicorn, Fenrir, or whatever. But that board is still threatening, right? Uh, but again, most importantly, I'm surviving. I'm going to survive. So I still have chances. Unicorn hits, one of the extra deck monsters, not too important. Shangri-La hides the field and uh, three sets. And that's, you know, a case for Heavy Storm. <laughs> nice, the OCG got that one back. The TCG might follow. So Heavy Storm, the entire back row draw to no Ash. So that, that's definitely nice. Uh, draw Eradicator, that helps, and break, finally Breakthrough Skill. In this matchup, the card is so busted, I need to draw into that more, right? And uh, banish the Breakthrough Skill from Graveyard to shut down the Fenrir. I have a couple of options, but I think... Um, go for the attack first, yeah, with two uh, stronger rulers dealing damage, and I go for Big Guy. Mm, well, yeah, nothing, you know, I'm not able to destroy the Shangri-La. So I guess this is okay-ish. The Book of Moon doesn't really do that much. Eradicator stops all spells this turn, next turns, and gives me free information about their hand. So we know the Ash is there. Obviously, we're forcing that out. That's fine. It's again one less tuner, I guess, for a potential extra deck summon if they do draw into a Kashtera monster. Um, so going for full damage and sitting on breakthrough skill again. That's my win button or, you know, prevent my opponent from going off button if they do draw Fenrir or something like that. But nope, this is more than enough. So a five gamer, kind of unexpected. No, like one duel, I would have been very happy. But I mean, it's going okay. But the help of hand traps is definitely needed in favor of, um, you know, rulers. But as we've seen before, I... <laughs> I'm lucky with the Maxis, but they are just never resolving. Imagine resolving Maxi here in this case. It actually would give me a fair chance of fighting back next turn, because now the um, you know the, the full combo of Kashtara is going to block my entire zones. Only three during their turn, but during my turn, if I activate something, any monster effect, I guess it's just going to banish the or you know prevent or lock the last two monster zones, and that's basically going to lock up the duel. Uh, again, the virus is not able to be activated because it needs to be sent to the graveyard. Then both Fenrir and Unicorn hit the field. And, you know, they will just banish a monster on field. So as soon as I activate the monster effect, that's sadly GG. Monster Reborn, not that great. I mean, imagine Dark Hole and then, you know, Monster Reborn on Arise Heart. Mm. Wishful thinking, no? So anyway, yeah, that's basically the game. So this matchup was intriguing, both rank 7 dot decks, 10 years a difference between both of them. For me, very interesting, very fun to play out, that's nice. Um, and two more duels slash matches to come, intriguing ones, especially looking at the Fire Kings. Um, looking forward to that one. So, um, okay, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, feel free to leave a control like if you enjoyed the video. Leave him signing out. Peace.